don't really send anything, and then you're wondering like, mm, what was wrong? And then people start building really big knowledge gaps, and then before we know it, there's such a big knowledge gap that the, it's almost too late to help anymore. So I think it's really cool that, that there's such a big participation in it. And mm. I mean, with the final step in the homework, that's of course, that's an extra um, and requires a lot of work. But I think, uh, of course, that's always the ideal scenario that you can do all of it. But yeah, it's just understandable if, if you said it takes 40 hours to do the first two steps and it's really difficult to find um, another hour, like another amount of time to, to do all of the rest. Um, unless you're, you're Krishna who does it in yeah. a couple of minutes <laughs> over breakfast. Um, I get the idea of the extra, but sometimes it, I see that already it's like impossible for me to complete it. It's just but that's fine, it's just, uh, it wasn't meant, uh, we weren't expecting you to the, it just, remember I said just the fact that you're thinking about it, that's part of the yeah, objective. Yeah, I'm just saying that. Thinking like all the time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and that's what I wanted, you know, to be able to kind of, uh, even if you don't have the code, the fact that you're... When I was not writing the code, I was thinking about it. Yeah, like, when I was yeah, the yeah that's, 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 that's what I wanted to encourage. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's something that I also say a lot is that um, it helps to uh, just get some, a little bit of practice every day. So if you know that you can't spend five hours uh, on, on homework on a, on a certain day, then at least spend 30 minutes and just like continue working with this quite new thing that you've only started working with. So. Uh, everything helps in the beginning to just keep practicing. Um, I really, it's good that Kevin is here. I'm going to get to something that actually Kevin was uh, the one who brought it up and had an idea for it. But first, just to, to show again like uh, how we handled the homework. I know you've been posting it on Slack and that's, that's great. I mean, it's nice that it's posted at all and that we can look at it, but it's always a bit tough to find. I mean, we could do an exercise and uh, I could try to or, like, make you find a statement that I made in March or I like, would say in May in this channel because the Slack search function is terrible. So um, that's why we have this uh, Google spreadsheet so like we can we can look at older homework from you as well and see if you like maybe finish the homework a few weeks later and, and then all of a sudden the repository has like all of the homework steps in it. So um, that's kind of what we use to keep an overview. Um, they have a sheet like this for instance, like looks pretty good right now. The, the white ones, like I didn't want to say no because I, I wasn't fully sure if it's actually not there. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this is just to, to keep the overview. And uh, later on, I think it becomes important that you have finished at least two out of three homeworks per, or like that you have finished two thirds of the homework per module, otherwise we won't be able to let you progress because uh, we've been very lenient in the past with students and then some people can go very far with never really doing the homework, but that's quite demotivating for the people who do the homework. And also, like, it brings the, the speed of the class down a little bit if you have to explain things to people over and over that actually were covered in homework. So it's a bit harsh to say, and like, I mean, you, you are all here and you're all doing the homework great, so like, I don't want to make any accusations towards you because you're doing great, actually. Um, and then, yeah, you should look at the homework as like stepping stones towards a goal. So. If you skip one, it just gets harder to jump to the next, you know, so it's like we, we do this very incrementally, so it's like one step after the next. So if you do every homework, then it'll be relatively simple to get, reach the other side. Um, another allegory, uh, but I hope it kind of makes sense, kind of a corny picture, but yeah. Um, and of course, all of this is your own responsibility, that you do the homework and that you also uh, do extra practice. At, we can't really run behind after one and say like, hey, we saw that you haven't done homework in two weeks and like, can you please finish it? It's like, we need to rely that you do it on your own um, initiative. Um, and I think this is the point that Kevin was making that uh, it's really important to try to get a project for yourself that you're really motivated about uh, because in those personal projects that you have, uh, that's, that's why you need to find solutions because you want it for yourself. and. Um, it's not because we give a homework and you feel like, oh, well, I want to finish the homework and I want to please the teachers and I want to do well in the program, but I'm, I'm maybe not that motivated for it. But if you have a personal project and you need to find a, a solution to a problem that, uh, or something that you want to build, I think there's a, you, you have much more energy to do that and you spend much more time. At least that's, that's the case for me. Like, that's where I learned the most, where, you know, then you sit until late in the, at night just to solve some, some tiny 
issue. Um, but it's tough to find such a project. I mean, not everyone has a passion in the project that immediately comes up, especially when you think that you maybe not have uh, the skills yet. Um, you know, you're starting on JavaScript right now, and you might be thinking, okay, well, I could, I could build a website with HTML and CSS, but what can I do with JavaScript? So I think that's a good moment for Kevin to maybe say a couple of ideas that he has, because Kevin has actually written a quite interesting article. I'll post it in the channel um, just afterwards, uh, if I can find it. I can also bring it up. Session 47 ideas. Yeah, should be here in the yeah, so <clears throat> I have a few people coming up to me and then asking like, like, okay, I don't know what to build. What can I know? What, what should I build? Do you have an idea for me? And then the problem is sometimes if, if I come with an idea, then it's my idea that you're maybe trying to build. So the best thing you can actually do is like figure out what is your idea that you like to do? Do you like to print? Do you like to paint? Do you like to take pictures and so forth? And then it's really about thinking about, I wrote this article here, 47 simple apps you can make in a day. And you can actually, if you think about, if you take your favorite, if it's football, then you could maybe say, for example, uh, number four, a football calendar with your memory, with memory to remember. But it could also be, for example, if you like to travel, a travel calendar with your best memories, uh, so forth. So you can often take your passion that you really like, uh, and then combine it with an idea for something you can make. So this is all you can make, but you can actually take each of these and customize them to a passion. So it can be a black day game, it can be something where you take and put the, the back of the images for something you really like. So it could be football players playing the back black day games, or it could be the dealer that you kind of know. It could be a family tree for a certain family, it could be the royal family if you're like that contact databases it could be something if you really like to have your contact or your grandma. That's something I often forget. Uh, <laughs> what does my grandma do? Uh, or something like this. And this is just a really good idea because it really gets you motivated to solve a problem of your own. And the homework is also really important because it gives you an idea of, of what is the, the right path for you to learn. Uh, but And these ideas are something that you kind of get motivated. Yeah, and I mean, if you have a small project like this and it's on your GitHub portfolio too, that's, that looks quite good too. Mm -hmm. I think um, we sometimes have students um, that finish the, the program and they only have repositories for Hacker Future homework. And I mean, that is that is nice and it's not bad. And in the past, we haven't really been uh, forcing anyone to do project that much or we haven't been making such a point of it, but I think now you have a chance to do that a bit differently, and I think the, the GitHub profiles that have a lot of different projects going on are always more interesting to look at, and if, you, if I'm an employer or a company looking at your profile, then it'll be more interesting for me to see like that you've tried out different skills and different projects, and you can also see your progression. You know, I'll be able to see, okay, this person built the interactive audiobook in June, and then in, in August they did something much crazier already, and then in uh, October, it's a whole other level so that you can see like, oh, this is actually a fast learner. It doesn't just say on the CV, this is a fast learner. So I think there's this famous quote by Linus Torvald called, talk is cheap, show me the code. So this, if you've met Pankaj, which you maybe have, uh, this is one of his favorite quotes. He will definitely bombard you with that uh, all the time. Uh, and it's, it's just true, like, if you want to find work as a developer, then it's always going to be the code that people can see that makes a difference. I mean, everyone can say that they're good at something, but um, GitHub, it's very easy to see uh, if you can you know, put your money where your mouth is. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. But uh, keep up the good work. And um, now, as I said, like it's nice with the, with the project. Um, I think now is a good moment to, to start thinking about that if you have some excess time. Like homework is great for um, really understanding the concepts that we teach, and you need that to, to continue following uh, this course. But um, the project is, is a very nice way to, to expand your knowledge in, in all directions. So keep that in mind too. And you know, there's 47 ideas here that you can start with. And uh, I think there will be someone uh, in, the, in the community of Hacker Future who can also help you out with like how to fix problems with it. I think 
All right, I mean, Kevin, Kevin definitely built it in a day because he brags about how he can easily build it in a day. And so I just ask him, yeah, I can help you. <laughs> for, uh, but yeah, 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 really good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, really nice work so far. Like, yeah, I, think, um, I, I haven't seen. The participation is really good. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, I only sporadically looked into some of the homework, but it was uh, really surprising. So uh, there was some really good stuff there. Nice. Well done. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So, guys, let's get back to the Git. So, before we do some more exercise, probably uh, Marjan has a nice diagram to get the idea what Git can do for us. So, would you like to explain that? I don't know. Oh, what is going Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't. So if you think about the way you work with the Git, can you see me more? Zoom, zoom, zoom. zoom, zoom. Yeah, that's I'm trying actually. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But you can see it there, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I cannot see it carefully so clear. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So in Git, it works in terms of repository. So your repository is the directory, whatever your future JS1, that was yours, okay? But Git doesn't see it until you do some stuff, okay? So remember when um, Abed did add the code, the code that needed to add something? When you do that, it goes into it, it goes into different stages. Think about theater, you know? Like when uh, people come to perform, they're just behind the stage, right? Yeah. Like in a theater, right? So think about it kind of in that way, okay? So when you're adding, you're adding it to the stage. I think they're going to come and commit soon. And then when you commit it, there's a local repository, which is not in the Git. And that's why when um, Abit did um, commit, you couldn't see it in, in the final repository, right? But you know you've committed it, because when you did uh, status, you can see that uh, there was a saying that it's committed. It was red, right? Yeah. It's red. And then when we push it, that's when public can see it. So that's the basic kind of conceptual concept. And then we want to fetch now, but we did pull. At first, when you did pull, it copied it into your working directory. And then you did CD and went into that directory and did this. So it's just like visually, I think it's uh, you're doing it, but this is just visual. But just, the, the, for example, if you commit and you say, oh, how come I can't see it? And you get frustrated. And then you can do the uh, status and see what you did. Ah, that's why. Because I didn't do the final push. So without pushing. So one of the um, homework is going to be, um, well, I'll write it to, it to you on the Slack. It's basically organizing your homework into a Git repository. Uh, so today we already have seen the git add, git commit, and git uh, push, right? But we haven't seen the git pull, probably we will not, uh, because uh, due to time limitation. But git pull is like, for instance, uh, did two... It, did it? Oh, clone. No, no, we did clone. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So clone is like a download in the project, but git pull is something is very nice uh, feature. We always, every day. For instance, uh, you two are working on a on project, the same uh, homework or something, together, right? So Jishan uh, writes some code and he pushed to the GitHub repository. So and how do you take his changes? You are to working together, right? Really? Somehow we need to yes, exactly. So we need to exchange information, right? So we don't use the flash drive or something that we just uh, exchange code. We use Git. So we store it in GitHub and we you pull it the changes. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. So whenever more than one person working in the project, so you always need to pull. But if you're alone working with project, sometimes you need to pull, but there's some other use cases. But most commonly, it's like there's something in the uh, remote uh, repository that somebody has pushed, you need to pull that one. Okay? The Take the latest one. Take the latest, that's it. Latest uh, version. Sorry? Yeah. So ideas pull the latest. So, But there are many other use cases. But uh, in, not to confuse, so mm. pushes, you push it changes, and pull is like take the latest. Yes. What is the difference between pool and clone? Clone. clone yes, clone is like uh, in the in the primary one. You don't have the project at all at your machine. 
So you want to clone it first. When you have cloned, then you don't want to download everything, right? You want to download the, the, the difference, changes. the changes. So now you have downloaded the, uh, you know, the, for instance, uh, this one. Um, now you have downloaded this one, right? Oh, what, what is it? What, why is it coming? <laughs> the page is taking too long to what load, okay? Way too long to load. <laughs> so now you have this one. So now I uh, will do the homework uh, to the class grade, right? Mm -hmm. So then you want to pull the everything, but you already have cloned. So you have to delete again and then clone again. It's not a good idea. You, instead, you do, you do pull, okay? So we'll do this one uh, uh, together. So let's uh, do more uh, git uh, uh, add commit push. This is, you should uh, like uh, get very used to it with, with the practice. So now we want to improve the homework he did right here. So let's clone uh, his work from the repository. So I'll do this, you just follow, follow along and we don't have that much time to, you know, do it together. How about um, putting one person's project online and then we change it and then we should... Yeah, that's what we're doing now. So if I go to the, you know, here, why is Marcos here, right? So let's copy his, you know, work. So we'll be doing the homework to one, okay? Very quickly, but uh, the idea is not doing the homework, using the git. That's the in, in, uh, intention. So just try to follow uh, what git can do for us. So basically, uh, this is the code, right, Marco? You, you need to help me if I'm doing something wrong. And okay, I need the script uh, file as well, right? So, <clears throat> index. So I'm doing a lot of copy paste. You know? Okay. Yes. So now I have the script the JS as there's nothing to do. Can you see this screen? I think if anyone can turn on the lights, so probably you can see more. Oh, light is turned off already. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I had so much light. I don't know why. Okay, so see here. Um, again, I'm doing git status. What do you expect to see? I have added two more files, right? Status. See, see here, I have added index and uh, script.js. And see, in the in, uh, script.js, it is almost empty, right? So now I do what I need to add them and then uh, add them and then push it to the you know github. So what should I do? git add. What, how can I add? Index and then I can also do this one script this way. Okay, so I can do this way. Yeah, we can use dot. I also different way. So we add this one. So git status. So now you can see two are green now, right? It is red here and this is here green, right? So now we need to add a commit. Commit. What is the commit? Can you give me a helpful commit like uh, we can remember, understand what you're doing? So probably you can say add, add index and script file. Okay. Git status. So now you can see this uh, commit is uh, you know one ahead. So we are not pushing right at the moment. Probably we will do more and then we push together. Every time we do not have to push, right? So now we change something, uh, do something here, code, you know. So I can copy the code from uh, this uh, file, right? Copy or everything maybe. It. 
So can you see it here? I just copy copy the GSA, uh, Marcos file, right? It's not Marcos file. It's, it's not? Hmm. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. It is. So I just saved it, right? Okay. So uh, now I do some changes here. So uh, uh, class 06, welcome to Hacker Feature. So I need to remove uh, you know, something. I don't like this one, okay? And I also don't need that one as well. So I removed it, right? So now what do you expect to see in, in the uh, in git status? Quickly, can you comment on that? I modified two files, right? Start. Start and then you again see this two file has changed. So uh, now uh, how can I add, uh, add them? You need to add them again, you can like refresh. Yes. I can do uh, index here, right? Okay, yeah. And then uh, script here, right? Uh -huh. So this way you can add uh, hundreds of files. But no sometimes, it's, sometimes it's too much. No, no command needed. Separate. Sometimes it's too much work for you. So all you can do, uh, remove this one and use dot. Dot means everything. All red should be added. All red files. So if I do dot, it do the same thing. Git status. See, now it's green. See, it's green, right? I think it's more, more, more visible because of the light. Yeah. So now what should I do? Git commit. What is the commit message could be? Copy uh, code from Marcos file. Okay. Now it's okay. Now probably we can uh, push It did push, it didn't ask the password, probably it remembers. Mm -hmm. That's good. So now we can see the, our repository uh, to see if the changes are there. I don't need this one here. Refresh. Now you can see the index and JS file, right? And the last commit message shows showing here copy code from Marcos file. See? Mm -hmm. The last commit message. And now we have made four commits. If you click here, you can see the first was initial when we create the repository. Second time we modify the readme file and third time we added index and script file and then fourth time we did copy code from some other person, right? Yeah. Okay, now we do some improvement. So our, the two pending thing, loop and for a function, probably we try to do that uh, in here. So uh, what was the uh, suggestion we, uh, we told to Marco to do that? So, Marco. Yeah. So basically, uh, yeah, yes. We, need, we want to instead of calling the function for fifteen times. Yes. You have a better way. I don't know. Okay. So, so if you can see this one, what is the repetitive thing we are doing? So we are doing exactly same thing, but only this is the different. Only still one, two, three, four, and five, six is different, right? You agree? Yeah. So I just copy the common thing first. Copy. Guys, are you following along with me? So copy this one. I just copying just to have the history, right? So let's remove everything. So I have removed everything. So what he was doing, he was storing and then he is assigning to an array, right? So basically, the strings 1, 2, 3, 4, he is assigning here, right? So instead of, we already deleted the code, so it's now empty, right? It's now empty, for instance. So we have removed the code. So now we can declare a for loop. For how, uh, how many strings he was assigning before? 15, 15 right? So I can. Sorry? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to complex, you know, I, just idea is to use the for loop. And some function. If you exp expand more, then I will not able to finish uh, you know, the git and the, all the flow. So let's uh, keep it simple for now. For uh, from i right i, and then i less than uh, equal fifteen right, or sixteen. Yeah, yeah, you can see sixteen as well. So you don't need the, this one. So i plus plus right. So this will uh, it uh, run for uh, fifteen time. So what he was doing, he was doing here, right. And then, or probably I can do it from zero, so from fifteen, right? The same thing. The function here? No, it is the variable he assigned, declared here. 
See, uh, I can in, in zoom it a bit. So can you see now? Okay, so this is an array, right? So I can do i, so it means a zero index uh, the first time. And yeah, and then what he was doing before, if you remember from his code, um, see, he was doing student one means this whole line, right? So I'm also saying student uh, zero means uh, this whole line. So I copied this one. So copy and paste and semicolon, right? And in the end, or I can show the code better way. Uh, what double wrap? So you can see it all one line, all one you know block. So so see here. So I have an array. So I'm inserting the students' information in in the index, right? So so array is empty in the beginning, right? So you can also say, uh, you know, uh, okay, we'll do the improvement later. So that's okay. So uh, then it should it should be working as it is. So now we go to the, you know, our this one page refresh. Oh, this is not the one, right? I should go to week three here. Is it the output? Actually, it's we, working? Yeah, you can click the array, the first element. Yeah, so now you can see this information, right? So uh, if you see the source code, I'm just giving you proof. So I have removed the uh, information so here. So here he had a lot of uh, 20 lines to do the process. So now I remove the iteration process with the for loop, right? So let's do the, uh, we've done some improvement, right? So now we can go to the uh, git bash or terminal and we can see git status. Now we can see a change here, right? And I am showing one more tr uh, trick, git diff. If you write this one, so you can see actually what is the difference, why it's showing red, what the commit you are doing. So if I do this one, enter. See, I have red lines I have removed, green line I have added. So I remove the student one, two, three, four, and then I add it, and then remain remainings I have just removed. I deleted the lines. See? I deleted the lines, okay? I don't know how to quit this one. Control C. Okay. So So uh, this is the git status again. So how can I add the changes? I just made something, I don't want to lose them, I want to save them, right? Add. What should I do? S Script. and tab. S and tab or dot can do, right? So dot can do. And what should I do now? Commit M. And then, and then uh, we, uh, you know, uh, uh, re removed uh, duplicate. Duplicate code using for loop, right? Okay, so now we, we what should we do again to push it to the uh, GitHub with push? So it's pushing now, it's pushed. So now we can go to the you know GitHub uh, repository project, uh, my project here, right? And refresh, see uh, this showing the commit and then 19, 19 seconds ago. Probably it did not give you the actually it's really working so we can just you know publish our uh, git uh, the project to IO the preview link right how can you do that preview link go to settings so I'm showing also how to preview if you don't know so if you if you if you scroll down scroll down see GitHub pages right so uh, here so here it says. Um, you always choose the master one uh, for now because we are not going more deep in the git branch so always choose this one okay and then save so it will take few seconds i guess right to publish your link but whenever it's ready you can see it from this link right so if you click the link okay it's opening same same page same page probably i can open a new window uh, new window so it already published. So if I uh, you know output this one, inspect, 
so I can show see the result here, right? Okay, so now we can do one more improvement. Instead of doing in console, we can uh, publish the output in the HTML. Who can help me quickly? Uh, I need a div, right? Okay, div. I need uh, sorry. Div. I need an ID or class to identify. Uh, let's say result. Result, right? I am putting here, right? So what I need here? What he is uh, outputting? All the output in console, right? What is the console? Let's hunt the console. Uh, here, right? Okay. So uh, let's declare the variable in the top. So easier. Let let result. I know. R E S L T. Well, so instead of getting undefined, I'm just giving some empty string, right? So I have a there and then here, right? So I can say result result equal. How can I add his uh, this uh, this text? Uh, where is the console? Here, right? This one. How can I add that? Um, okay, he's printing the array of object. We don't want to print that actually. It's not needed. It's not for the output. I don't want to show the object, so I need somewhere here, right? The average, right? So here, result plus, copy this one, right? Copy, it should save here, right? So I am re removing the, uh, uh, no, the console.line. Yeah, is it okay now? So let's also see where are more outputs, probably here. So he's returning its wrong uh, statement, but we will correct that. Uh, return, sorry. <laughs> result plus equal. So how can I copy these uh, things in result? Just copy everything, right? Yeah. Copy. Why are you putting a class also? Because I want to concatenate concat concat with the previous one. <laughs> Otherwise, I will lose this one, right? Any confusion on this plus sign? Yeah, but if I don't use plus, then it will replace the old one, right? That's the basic thing. Sorry? Inside. Oh, yeah, that's true. But we want to output, uh, no, use uh, in the end whenever it's ready. So now I, I can see I'm, I have collected all the, you know, uh, stuff, right? So what I need to do, uh, document. How can I output this one? Print the other one. Document dot get element by ID. And then what is the element by ID? Result. Result. And how can I add that? So I don't want to, okay, I probably gave you some comments in the Slack channel. Somebody is assigning a variable and not reusing it. So you only use variable when you think that you can reuse it. So see, I have declared a result variable in the top because I'm reusing it. I'm calling over and over again. So I'm not declaring any variable in this dot uh, go get element by ID like this one, const uh, x or something because I don't want to use it again for one time. So this, that's why I'm doing it here. So uh, what is the one? Inner HTML. Is equal to or yeah equal, equal to a result right result so before I did uh, commit or something so I would like to see my thing is working right so let's see this one uh, locally first see it is outputting the same thing in the console but it's not outputting nicely right what can I do so I need a separate line, right? Uh, basically, so all you can do. So yeah, now probably it's okay for me now. So I make a git commit, right? So you can say git uh, status. So now you see two file has changed, right? So git add dot git commit message. What is the message? Uh, 
result in HTML. HTML, okay? So I made this one, but I said I'm not happy with this one. So what can I do? I can say, uh, get, uh, sorry, I can go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, this one. So all I need, uh, dr, like this, in, in front of everything, in front of all, yeah, yeah we can do it many ways, <coughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, so now let's see the output. Now you can you can see in two different lines, right? Bit nicer, probably. Okay. So again, you go to the uh, Git uh, status. You can see. Yes. Can you? Uh, no, no. You not. You don't have to. So for for me, you can see this. You know, static, and you can recognize, but. In real world, real life, probably there will be a lot of files and you are changing in many files but you don't want to make all the things but it's always good to see what, how much uh, file has changed. Don't use git add uh, when you don't see the you know, status because sometimes you want to skip some file. For instance, okay, let's do something changes here. So I said, okay, uh, I'm doing some more uh, footer. Footer tab, right? Footer, uh, you know, copyrights. Sorry. So now you can see copyrights here, right? So, but if you do the git status, you see two file has changed. So index file has what footer, right? I don't want to make the footer uh, co uh, commit at the moment. Probably I just git it for some reason, but I want to don't want to do the change. So in that case, you just see the changes and then git add. Don't use dot. You just use uh, the file name. And then git uh, commit message. What could the message? Print the result nicely with uh, line break. Why I'm doing so much commit? Actually, I could have done everything at one time, and then I can make a one commit, right? Yeah. To remember and to see the difference, like uh, uh, you all time do one action and then you writing a commit message and then you you can always see uh, actually if you have a one hundred line changes you don't know what else, what you are making changes probably I can show you how you do you know so identify this one the, the advice is that we should try to make a new, a new commit as much each as time each time okay. each time you do something is like uh, ready like I'm I'm happy with the line changes I don't want to make the you know footer. And also, uh, probably you are also happy with the footer, but don't make uh, same thing because you, do, you, you then commit message too, too long. You're doing multiple tasks. So in uh, achieve one task, and uh, it's, if it's ready, then push a, uh, make a commit. So now we go to the you know result again. Um, probably this one here, week three, and see this one uh, modifying uh, with line break. See here. So now I can refresh. Now it's here. I don't know. I don't need the console.log anyone anymore. So it's now here. The copy is not here, right? The footer is not here. Copyright. Like this one. I have a copyright footer. So I didn't change, uh, commit that one. So see, look at the comments. Now I made, you know, seven comments. And if I, uh, I want to see, okay, how do I, did I remove the duplicate? How did I use the uh, for loop, right? So you can click the link here. Then it will give you the you know, changes. So you have removed that many lines, and you just wrote three of lines. So if I doing everything like uh, for loop or uh, remove or outputting HTML, everything in one one commit, then you will see so much changes, and you cannot differentiate what the functionality you have done actually. Also to understand your code, make as much as commit as possible. Okay, does it make sense? I'm going too fast because we have only half an hour remaining and we have to, we have to do a lot. That's why. Okay? But uh, do ask question if you are last, confused. Last, last uh, so I'm making so much commit. So you can, uh, the commit is readable. Mm -hmm. And you can, and reading the commit and you can see the functionality, what the code you have changed, uh, done. For instance, I said uh, print the output nicely. Now you can see what I did. I just added 
a BR in uh, one place, two place, three place. Oh. See this? This is the only change I made. So uh, added uh, with a break line. So break line. If you if somebody want to learn from your code, what is break line? How he have done this one? So what he did, he just added a you know HTML tag. That's the changes. But if you are making tons of different changes and you are uh, writing a commit, okay, um, print the result line uh, nicely with break lines. Actually, it doesn't reflect. You are doing much more than that. Yeah. So make a commit which is sensible. Uh, what else you can do? For instance, um, we can we can we can remove his you know all this uh, unnecessary stuff. Uh, lines break. Okay. Can you guys do one more thing? Um, clone my project. I'm giving you the link. Uh, remove the you know uh, uh, JS one because it will be a uh, same similar you uh, know directory. So remove your uh, folder. We will try to do, uh, to do the do the git push uh, pull. So to exercise this one, you need to clone my project. Then I will make some changes. Then you will pull my latest one. Okay? So we delete. One you delete the JS one, the, one uh, the home, uh, the From local the one, and then copy uh, clone this one. Are you this from different name? Sorry. Completely different name. Yeah, or different name. Yeah, rename it. So all you need to do rename or delete your the existing one and clone my repository. For instance, now we are working together, right? And let me know uh, uh, when you're done, so you should be able to see uh, this page, this output, when you click the index.html file. You pull it, right? You clone it. Clone it you right? remove your, uh, your one. You delete your folder quickly in five minutes. No, no, no. From, uh, from your machine, you delete your, the, uh, the, uh, you have your have own repository, right? So, so you remove this one and clone my new one. How we should delete by git. Yes, git clone. Okay, we help yeah, them actually. Yeah. Delete the one. Delete the one. JS one. I have to delete the directory because I have same names. Yeah, it's fine. I want to delete from the git. No, don't delete from the git. Okay, I did it. <laughs> delete from the git means that okay you can have it uh, because it's trash for you probably but the idea is you need to download the project locally in your machine but you already have the same uh, folder you have already tried so it will not conflict that's why I'm saying delete the one and then uh, clone this one let me know if you can do it so I can Yes. 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 Yes.
So you, if you see this output, then you're good. Yeah? All done. Please raise your hand if you are not. If you are not, okay. So now we do some improvement uh, together in half an hour, and we again uh, I will push these changes in my uh, repository. All you need, you need to pull and see the changes in your machine. Then it's done. Okay. So now what improvement we can do here? Can quickly anyone suggest? You can like round the number. Yes. One thing. Probably. Uh, I, I just uh, find this one. Uh, he he mentioned some of the name, right? Samara, uh, Heather, uh, uh, Sajid, right? Probably it's, isn't it a nice idea to also print the the person's information so you can judge who is actually really a, a good scorer or low scorer. So we can print them, right? Uh, all the that's the good idea, probably, right? I can see that we're printing twice the highest score. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Probably the calculation need to be updated. Right, because maybe two guys got the same. Probably so. The, yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The same num number. Yeah. So uh, okay. So now we need to do some improvement. Um, where is this one? Uh, I can. Uh, I can. Probably in the end of the uh, output here, I can print the names. After the you know. And the results probably I can uh, put the player's name right so all I need I need to go down here right so I want to use the way uh, uh, he did it like uh, using the function right so all I need uh, print uh, players or you know students info You know, I'm writing some uh, comments so I can see what I'm doing here, right? So you also can follow the same practice if you want. So what should I do here? I should basically, you know, uh, output uh, the strings probably in a new tab, a uh, new div, right? Div and then uh, id equal to students, right? So I can go back, I can save the file and then students wrote and then, okay. Cut. I put it here. So here, all I need uh, let uh, students equal to again uh, empty. You can do it many ways, but I'm just trying to keep it simple this time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, where are my all uh, students? Where can I get this one? The students are living where? The area of students right so I can go there right so all I can do uh, for for I should do this way right I equal to zero I I less than oh you don't need to you don't need to you can do it I think maybe yes. But you can do it, okay. Okay, this way, right? But actually, 
there's another way you can declare for lo uh, loop, right? There are many other ways. What the difference different syntax I can use for this case? I I want to go through all the strings, right? The strings array has this one. The name strings. of the array on the left. So uh, length, yeah, definitely. There's one one way, and another is like called for each. So I want to say for each means the you know I can pass an array, and then it can go each of them. Function that goes for, for each one. It's like a syntax, like a for for loop. So for each, so I can pass this for each. Oh, sorry, uh, copy. Yeah. For each as, so I'm saying add of a student as student. I'm just giving a name. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so for each. So it's just take element. each of the element from there, okay. and that's a student. Ah, that's so it's like a, a box. So, yeah, take each object and that object is a student, and then you do whatever you want with it. Yeah, I mean, like we didn't give uh, it, because it, before you didn't give the array of students, and then it's directed for each. Then I never say that. So this one I, I understand. It's a very good. I don't know my code will work or not, but let me see. Uh, give you, see in yeah, the console, okay? Uh, this one, right? This is local one. Copyright. Inspect. And this one, refresh. Yeah. Inspect token number, line number 111. This one here, right? So. Each item is capital for each. Yeah. So this is how you can you know uh, find the inspiration the you know, example. But the guys are right. You're missing the yeah. e. Yeah, e is capital. They should be capital. Yeah. Okay. Copy the everything. So I also I'm missing more actually. Uh, uh, this is a function you need to pass. So out. here is the co code. So uh, I'm going each of the element for each, and then uh, it returns something. So it's returning and it's receiving here. So I can say it's instead of element student. So for uh, if you feel it's difficult, don't use it. You can use the for loop also, like with the land or whatever, right? So a student, and then I can say students, right? I can say student, comma student. See, it's printing all the students, right? Wow. Yeah. So what is my intention? I have a, a student, you know, uh, or you can say result. Uh, Results, or you can say HTML, it's a better name. So, sorry, I got lost a little bit with the function that is in there uh, after the porridge. Uh, yeah, so, where did that thing from? I think you will learn more uh, in the JS2 as well. But the thing is that, uh, so this is a method, so here is an array. Right. And then you're calling a method, and it uh, the for each function it returns every time iteration. It yeah. do iteration, it returns something, the object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you want to receive the object, you need to declare a function. So this is syntax. You're declaring the function in the very same. Way. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, the uh, the documentation you can find here, uh, like this. yeah, MDN. It it it, it ex, 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 uh, express everything, the callback. Yeah. Everything it has a lot of documentation. If you have time to read, but what is my intention? Uh, just to output the things, right? Mm -hmm. So I can say, okay, HTML instead of uh, you know putting the things here, uh, students class uh, here, right? And then template literal, and then what I need to put uh, name. What is the name? Student. Mm -hmm. Uh, how to do that? Yeah, right. String dot. Uh, we can see here a string dot uh, name, right? Name. Name, and then I can say um, grade, right? Grade. Also, what? Student dot. I always do, you know, copy paste. Yes. Probably you need, you can put some uh, some uh, you know design. <laughs> okay. What so. Is the use of the, uh, no 
Sorry. What is the use of dollar sign? In dollar sign, see, if you use template literal, so if it's a variable, then you need the dollar sign. Otherwise, it will not treat as a variable. It's another way of string concatenation yeah. instead of using the plus. Yeah. If yeah. you need to write JavaScript inside a yeah. template literal, then you need yes. So basically, this is an HTML, right? And you want to print a variable or some logic or JavaScript code, then you need to use dollar sign and the curly braces. Then inside, if you do something, if you declare a variable, it gives a print to the uh, uh, variable out value. Or you can write some logic for loop again or if else condition or any other thing you can do. Yeah? Uh, okay, so what's so now probably I have everything right here in the student's HTML. So what I need to do? More? You know, copy paste. And then what is the ID here? Students, right? Students, and then I can copy and save, right? Does it make sense? So we can just validate our uh, output. Is it doing the things that we want? Refresh. Oh my God! What it did? We need break. <laughs> we need break, right? It print everything in one line. So we can put a break here, or we can do one more thing. Uh, we can just say p tag. Instead of break, I don't like break actually, and it's not recommended to use break in the HTML. If you want to know, it looks nice, right? P is like a paragraph. Always do a separate line breaks, right? So now you can see, okay, uh, lowest uh, means that uh, she got 62. So now you can verify, verify 62 is is the only one, right? Now it's perfect. Okay. So okay. So instead of uh, doing it here, you can also create a function if you want. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now I go to the terminal again, git uh, status, right? I want to see what are the changes that I did. And probably I know what has changes in the script.js, right? But I forgot what I have changed in the index.html. How can I see that, uh, see that what I have changed? Git diff. If you write enter, then it, it differs everything. If you put the file name, then it will show the difference for the file. Mm -hmm. So see if what I have changed. What I have changed. So red line is like a removing, and then green line is adding. So probably I have removed. I have what added empty line, and then I moved the line here, and I put it here, and then also added one new div, right? Element. That's the thing I have done. Nothing else. So now I need to add them, right? Here, git commit space. So uh, print the student info, right? Is it okay? Git push. So now I should be able to see it in my uh, github this is the github right in this page right if i refresh what do you think no yes or no yes so my code has this one right yes before you do the git pull probably i can just to cover the function probably i should i promised you to do that let's do it do it so now this one right how can i do that okay function function uh, let's say uh, print uh, student info so I said stu student not students I said there's a plural one student right so one student should print right so what is this uh, the printing we do we are doing here we are just basically uh, printing a student name, right? Uh, name and grade. So all you need to do, we can copy this one. Or cut. I can say return this thing. So I'm returning the print a student, a student and, and calling the function here, right? Will it work? So, yes, you're right. 
So basically, see here, I am saying uh, print the student information. So what this function does, it just returns something, some HTML. Okay, that's fine. But it is printing student name and student get. Where this get from? This will be undefined. I should need to, yeah, it should be undefined. I should need to pass this one. So all I need to do, I need to pass this student object itself. And I need to receive here as well, right? So you can also call the same name, it's okay. So then it will get this one. Because I'm not going that much detail because I have seen from the homework, you have mm, uh, used the uh, function. So you might familiar with the function syntax, how to declare and how to pass the parameters. So it will it will exactly do the basic same thing, but because I haven't done any changes, it should work. But to see my changes is working, probably I can say, okay, uh, you know, put a nice <laughs> design. <laughs> probably it's not that nice. See, it has changed. So my function is working, right? So any in one line, can you guys explain what is function? Why you should do, do function? You want to repeat something, repeat something. Yeah. Repeat. You want to repeat something, you can use function. Yes, any more? I think you said right. So basically the function is whenever you have a, uh, a block of code, you can reuse, you can, uh, you, you, can uh, you want to reuse them like a variable, you group them into a function and also importantly function has one more uh, significant meaning uh, you, you can, can send information to it. yeah you can violate this one but the thing is that function declare a function and it can do only one thing just one thing so here i'm doing what it is saying i said print student name right so it, that's doing thing but if i start doing something uh, doing calculation doing the average of grade like uh, I said, okay, uh, let a v g equal to uh, calculate grade or something, right? So it is do is it doing one thing or two things? Probably it is doing two things. It's okay, but I I mentioned the f function name is to do one thing, like like this way. So you always try to do one thing, but you can do multiple things. Also, you can change the name, like and uh, do the average and uh, print the string information. But it is recommended to uh, function name as small as possible. Don't make the function name too long, uh, that it can do multiple things. It can do actually, it will not complain, but it is a good idea, good practice. Do a function and can do one thing and small thing. Okay? But sometimes uh, you need to do a lot of things and it's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay? Yes? So is it uh, implicating that uh, it's good practice that you just may just create a lot of function and you only call a function outside of function? Yes, yeah. you can do. It's called divide and conquer. Yes, I I, I was reading an uh, you know article where he he explained and then he do the refactoring and one function has only one line you know, it is doing only one either condition check or outputting or doing something it's only one thing. And that makes it easier for you to debug. Debug and readable and then you can see if, so if this function has 20 lines you know in our re real life world we are doing like hundreds of lines and you don't know actually what this function is doing but if you write one line so I can say same print inf uh, string information I can, you can read one line and it's readable and you can see the purpose of the doing, uh, what the function is responsible for right this is the best practice if you can try to keep up then it's really good but what do we have what we have done here probably we can see in git status Right and uh, git uh, commit add. So there's one more way you can do this one and then um, git. I don't know anyone can uh, anyone then remember this one. How to do one liner? In single line com command, do you remember anyone? Sorry. What? Git meaning means. Yeah. It's just a name. I don't know the, what the git abbreviation means. So he, I don't know, it probably this is the worst syntax. Okay. So
So I said git commit and then a means add and m means you know message. message. So what I said uh, use uh, function Foolish or worthless person. Sorry? <laughs> okay. Uh, doesn't make sense. A. A doesn't make sense, really. Probably I don't need to mention a script. Okay. Now he added everything, that's why. Yeah. So you can do in multiple ways, but don't try this way. So I, the ideal way is git add first. You can add all of them or selective file and then did git commit and then git what? Push. Git push. And yes. And I should be able to see in my GitHub uh, the preview link uh, with you know some you know bracket and in, in before and after this lines really it didn't push I did add right it didn't came yet probably Yes, now it's here. Okay, so it is taking time to you know GitHub to you know get my up file updated. So the task is now, you have cloned, right? Now you don't need to clone again. You should be able to see this page on your machine. How can you do that? Pull it. Pull it. Let's do that. So let's run yeah. git pull. Probably you'll see some you know doing yeah. it. Now they care. I'm just sure that I'm going to use a bullet. Just put a hack your feature, put it out of the directory code. I can come up there to be here. I can come up there with a team to motivate and with a team to motivate. Yes, don't clone, just do git push or something, pull right, uh, whatever you can do, but don't, don't clone. Um, and, I, and you should see this page, wait. that's it. And then we'll explain you the homework, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. So Did you do it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have cloned this. Yes, it's already cloned, right? And now what do you do? Just git pull, that's it. Okay. So where is the clone? Yeah. Oh, you already did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, the thing is, uh, the thing I found just now. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not. Oh, first time you do it. Fast time, it's not now, right? Mm -hmm. Just pull it. So now, uh, can you just. I am going to locally use. This one. Yeah. So now you need to. Um, okay, okay. Uh, because you are not going to use this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. So all you do is get a clock. Sorry, get GIT. Get pull. What? So now go to your folder. Now you can say. So now, this, uh, this, there was an index here? Yeah. 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 So, so, all of this, did you see the uh, go there? You don't have a <laughs> yeah. So, can you do, uh, sorry, go to the refresh? Uh, so, get to origin. JS1. Cool. Cool. Origin. Uh, without space. Space. So, oh, it's not, is it in here? The email? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Is it you? Yes. Pull. Yes. No. I'll do it again. No. 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 Did you make changes? Uh, yeah, but then again, I uh, like removed it. Okay, I see. 
Let's just delete it. See, the difference here. So now we should be able to change one bit. This is my issue. Yeah, you made changes, right? I, I made changes, but it. I again made it back to the original one. Okay, you're done. No, 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 no. Because when you commit change, no, 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 because I think um, at the moment, I was holding this one. Oh, no, no, not the bash. No, I had the bash, but yeah. it's okay. I'm going to do the so homework. The homework yeah. would be to yeah. organize your yeah. thing. Yeah. I want to do it. No, maybe you should do the yeah. game. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I will do the game this time. I did the homework and I did this time. Yeah. Yeah. So See, travel is so, in Slack, it looks very small. While you are going to do it. Like read it out and do it. Yeah. So I just no, missed the middle portion. This one. So first of all, you need to I take the first one. Yeah. Second and third. Yeah. Can I just go quickly go through your homework because we don't have much. So uh, yeah, just check. Yeah. Everyone is done. No. You get oh, okay. Just give them. Few yeah. Seconds. Yes. Copy the. Copy the. Copy the. Copy the. Copy the. Copy the. Copy then in this month, you said? No, come on. You can also do that. Really, whatever. Now you just don't know. Maybe you want to. Only the only So it's easier for you to find it. I think you do it in the next. Um, no, I don't know. The, is there a Git uh, separate model yeah, or not? But yeah, in, there is. in one hour, two hour, it's you can't no. uh, cover it. I think uh, no, I spoke to Christopher. Okay. There's yeah. another level. I said that this is all we're doing, yeah. and he said okay. So, so probably there's a separate, separate module for Git. So you learn Git actually, but you'll be at an advanced okay. level. Because you know the bit pull push and everything. I, I think you know the sort of baby's yeah. first step. So now, yeah. I Probably. think that we got a lot of need. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use your screen? Yes, please do that. Go ahead. Slack. Slack. Uh, in channel or? No, not to the channel. Would I clear connect? Okay. So, we are running out of time, probably. Okay. So, what we want you to do for homework, continue doing the game, okay, to practice your programming skills. But what we want you to do, create a great repository. Forget about all the repositories you have now, create a nice clean one. And we want you to create these directories. Okay. So, for HTML, you should have one read. Uh, Sorry, how many homework did they have in HTML? Three homework? Three weeks, three homework. Okay, so each of them should have a README that describes the homework. Um, so that, you know, when you go back to your repository, you can see what the homework was. And then put the uh, file underneath each of the directory. So one README, and then the homework, one, two, three. And then, so this is the sort of framework you would have for this Six months. Is it six months? Yeah. Yeah. So six months. So this is what you're going to be doing. So you're on uh, JavaScript 1. I think you stick to uh, JavaScript 1. You don't have to create all of them. Because uh, now they can use it. No, it's now. okay. Because JavaScript HTML has three folder, right? And JavaScript has one has three folder. It's okay. Six folder is enough for them. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, and then by the, the top level should have a readme um, describing your repository or something. So basically, you can create a repository in your uh, account called like uh, uh, you know uh, web development. So there, you can create a subfolder called uh, HTML CSS. Is it the one? And then you create uh, again a week one, week two, week three, and then and each then week should have a readme, readme, and then what else you want to see? Yes, that's all. Readme, and then and then upload the uh, code. Yes. The, the exercise you did, the homework you have submitted, oh, no, right? Homework. So that we have a nice somebody, if you want to show somebody what you've done, you can just send the Git yeah. link. So basically, like for instance, the week two, uh, the homework you have submitted today, we just have looked 
looked at it. You need to copy and put it on the JS one and week two and copy paste that and get, do a git uh, add git commit and then push to the repository. So now in future you can run your uh, the final project so you can see all the homework you have done at one place. That'd be nice. Just this for you know accessing git. It's nothing for you know doing the better way or better way. Okay, and and of course, uh, I put it on there. Okay. Can you remove? Uh, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Sure. And this is a simple one, right? Uh, and and probably they also need to do the pre reading for JS two. Yeah. Uh, GitHub. Who's teaching JS2? Uh, JS2, I don't have any idea. Probably Christopher will uh, know, let you know in the channel yeah. later. Are you will not teach us whatever? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not available next uh, few weeks. That's the reason. Yeah, I want to rename so, do you know why is the repository the, the one that uh, Christopher mentioned? Can you just quickly ping yeah. to the screen? Mm -hmm. I think I have found this one. Wait, two. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, and one more homework uh, is uh, doing the reading with material uh, for week four. So, this is the one. So, how can you find this uh, uh, mat materials? So, all you need, you need to go to the Hacker Future repository and you need to find the JavaScript uh, project here, JavaScript, and then you should go to the JavaScript 2, and this is the one. So basically, you can replicate this one uh, for the Marjahan's homework here, uh, you know, introduced. So JavaScript one, like this one, he sh he said JavaScript, and then JavaScript one, and JavaScript one has a week, week one, two, three, four. Yeah, you can follow that. And you too. have some readme, all the instruction here, right? I you think can the bottom line is whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. But some sort of structure. Don't focus on the content, like readme, this is the table yeah. or stuff. In all the ideas, you, you can replicate the you know, idea. Creating a folder, putting a file, using Git, not a down upload or download. Right? Yeah. Yes. So, guys, I want to say a final thank you for the this module. So, probably you will see the new teacher in the new class. And keep, up the, and keep up the good work. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yes. can we at least give an applause to Aveda? He's been yeah. awesome. Oh, awesome, yeah. awesome yeah. Aveda. Yes, thank you guys. Uh, we I really enjoyed it. Here, it's not going to be the same without it. And remember, if I'm not coming, uh, but I will be available on Slack. If you have some uh, struggle or something, definitely I would love to help you, okay? With the project or assignment you have. Much appreciated. Yes. But if you are, uh, need help from the future uh, le lecture, probably I don't know the lecture, but you need to explain, uh, ask the question nicely, like what's the question, what is the assignment, and what is your code, then I will be able to help. But if you just say, okay, uh, week uh, four, uh, this one, uh, two, uh, 4.3, I don't get it. Then I have to go and read, okay guys, I don't get it. So you need to explain what is the thing you are trying to achieve and what's the problem. Then I definitely will help you in very quick, uh, short time. Make sense? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.